empecemos. I have explained the differences between these two verbs in many ways throughout my career, and from my experience using the acronym DOCTOR and PLACE has become the most effective method for my students. There are lots of things that you will need to learn about these verbs as you progress in your learning journey, but let's start with the basics today. For SER, we're going to use the acronym DOCTOR. D for DATE. O for OCCUPATION. C for characteristics, T for time, O for origin, R for relation. Let's see some examples for ser. Date. Today is Friday. Hoy es viernes. It's Christmas. Es Navidad. Occupation. I am a student. Soy estudiante. He is a teacher. Él es profesor. Characteristics. My school is modern. Mi instituto es moderno. My backpack is very big. Mi mochila es muy grande. This is probably the hardest acronym to explain. You might have heard or read that SER is for permanent qualities or characteristics. This category includes description of people, places, objects, and animals, if you think that this is a permanent characteristic that describes them, and is not subject to change, at least not easily. It will also be used when you talk about your favorite things, or just to say what things are made of, to show ownership or possession. And finally, this category is used when referring to permanent statements or opinions and general truths. With time, it is 12 o'clock, son las 12. It is the end of the class, es el final de la clase. For origin, Alex is English, Alex es inglés. Lucy and Alice are from England, Lucy y Alice son de Inglaterra. For relation, Anna is my friend. Ana es mi amiga. Daniel is my younger brother. Daniel es mi hermano pequeño. Now, let's see some more examples. The main objective here is for you to look at the English sentence and link each sentence to the right acronym. Then, translate. My birthday is in July. Mi cumpleaños es en julio. My dad is a doctor. Mi padre es médico. I am tall. Yo soy alta. It is quarter past three. Son las tres y cuarto. Helen is from Mexico. Helen es de México. They are best friends for masculine. Ellos son mejores amigos. Now let's do a star. For a star, We're going to use the acronym PLACE. P for position. L for location. A for action. C for condition. E for emotion. We use STAR to show position. He is standing. Él está de pie. I am seated for feminine. Yo estoy sentada. For location. The hotel is there. El hotel está ahí. The station is in the corner. La estación está en la esquina. For action. We are walking. For feminine. Nosotras estamos paseando. I am eating an apple. Yo estoy comiendo una manzana. Condition. I am tired. For feminine. Yo estoy cansada. Today, he is ill. Hoy, él está enfermo. Emotion, I am happy, for masculine. Yo estoy contento. Today, she is sad. Hoy, ella está triste. Now, let's see some more examples. The main objective, as we did with SER, is for you to look at the English sentence and link each sentence with the right acronym. Then, Translate. 
My dad is standing by the door. Mi padre está de pie junto a la puerta. My mom is at the office. Mi madre está en la oficina. Andrea is walking the dog. Andrea está paseando al perro. My sister is exhausted. Mi hermana está agotada. Today my brother is very happy. Hoy mi hermano está muy contento. Just before we finish, I just want to point out that there are some words that can only be used with ser, such as ser capaz, to be able, ser posible, to be possible, ser inteligente, to be intelligent, ser importante, to be important, or can only be used with estar, estar contento, estar contenta, to be happy, estar enfermo, estar enferma, to be sick or ill, estar lleno, estar llena, to be full, estar vacío, estar vacía, to be empty. And also, two of the most used adverbs, estar bien, to be fine, to be okay, to be well, and estar mal, to be bad, badly, to be wrong, to be sick, to be sad. I hope you have enjoyed the class and it has helped you to consolidate your learning. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share. Buen trabajo. Hasta la próxima clase.